Hey there, curious minds. Welcome back to another episode of Atari Atomic Adventures. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of plutonium. Yes, plutonium. It's not just a word you hear in sci-fi movies, it's a real element with some pretty mind-blowing facts. So buckle up and let's get started. First off, let's get to know plutonium. It's a heavy, silvery metal, symbolized by the letters PU on the periodic table, and it sits with the atomic number 9 to 4. Plutonium was discovered in 1940 by a team of scientists at the University of California, Berkeley, led by the legendary Glenn T. Seaborg. They bombarded uranium-238 with deuterons, and voila, plutonium was born! Did you know that plutonium glows in the dark? Well, sort of. Pure plutonium emits a faint blue or green glow due to its radioactive decay. This decay releases a significant amount of energy in the form of heat. In fact, a lump of plutonium can get quite warm to the touch. It's like having a little piece of the sun right in your hand. Okay, maybe not the sun, uh, but you get the idea. Now, plutonium is infamous for its role in nuclear weapons. The very first atomic bomb used in warfare, dropped on Nagasaki in 1945, was a plutonium bomb. A code named Fat Man, this bomb had a core of plutonium-239. The sheer destructive power of plutonium-based weapons has made it a significant, albeit controversial, element in human history. But it's not all about destruction. Plutonium has some pretty cool, peaceful uses, too. For instance, it's a key fuel in some types of nuclear reactors. Plutonium-239 can sustain a nuclear chain reaction, which makes it valuable in generating electricity. And here's a fun fact. Plutonium-238 is used in radioisotope thermoelectric generators, or RTGs. These ROKIEs power space probes. So when you think about those amazing photos of Pluto sent back by the New Horizons mission, remember that a little bit of plutonium helped make that possible. Speaking of space, did you know plutonium got its name from Pluto, the dwarf planet? The element was named in keeping with the tradition of naming newly discovered elements after planets. Since plutonium came after uranium and neptunium, and Pluto was the next planet out, it got the name plutonium. Science and mythology, beautifully intertwined. Now, handling plutonium is no joke. It's highly radioactive and toxic. Inhaling even tiny particles can be extremely dangerous, leading to serious health issues. That's why it's strictly controlled and handled with utmost care in specialized facilities. The metal's toxicity was actually depicted in the movie Silkwood, based on the true story of a nuclear facility worker. And for our final fun fact, did you know that plutonium can be made to sing? Well, sort of. When placed in a specific type of instrument called a mass spectrometer, the vibrations of the plutonium atoms can be converted into audible sounds. It's not exactly top 40 material, but it's a symphony of science. So there you have it. From glowing in the dark to powering space missions, plutonium is one of the most fascinating elements on the periodic table. Thanks for joining us on this atomic adventure. Don't forget to subscribe and tune in next week for more amazing science facts. Until then, stay curious.